Hey guys, it is 3.21 p.m. on mm, I don't remember what day it is. A Wednesday, September 30th, 2020. Okay, I don't care about the damn presidential debate, okay? I'm more worried about what I'm about to read. Okay, so after several years apart, the beloved rock band ACDC is getting the group back together for a new album. The band hasn't cut a full album with the original members in a long time. However, they announced on Twitter Wednesday that singer Brian Johnson, drummer Phil Rudd, and bassist Cliff Williams have rejoined the band to crank out a new album titled Power Up, PWR Up. Their first studio album record, sorry, their first studio record since 2014. Clearly, we know that's rock or bust. The announcement came with a caption asking fans if they're ready, along with a photo showing the band members looking older but still ready to rock and roll, with guitarist Angus Young at 65 still sporting the trademark schoolboy uniform. Sorry, outfit. Unfortunately for eager fans, the announcement of the album did not come with a release date, leaving everyone in the dark as to when more music from ACDC is expected to drop. The news comes after Twisted Sister frontman D. Snyder previously shared the band was getting back together in a series of tweets that last December, a prospect that many who have been following the living band members may have thought was impossible. The greatest rock bands of all time are... And then it just says, Rudd has not toured with the band for several years due to legal issues. Bass player Cliff Williams announced his retirement in 16. We all know this. ACDC has toured with GNR frontman Axl Rose since he stepped in for Johnson in 16 when the hard screaming vocalist was unable to complete the band's rock or bust tour due to severe hearing problems. ACDC are reuniting for a new album. Let me look at this. Okay, it won't let me change over to it, so I guess we're going to do it. And here's more. Okay, a little bit more. Not very much. Unfortunately, co-founder Malcolm Young died in 2017, as we all know this. At age 64, he was replaced in subsequent performances by his nephew, Stevie, who will be part of Power Up. As Variety notes, 2020 marks the 40th anniversary of the band's biggest album, 1980's Back in Black, which debuted, debuted, whatever the word is, enduring hits for the band, such as title tracks, as well as You Shook Me All Night Long. The album sold more than 50 million copies copies worldwide according to the outlet Okay, so, well, I'm very excited about this. We're all getting ready to power up, it sounds like. And I know I'm not the only one connecting the dots here. They have a song called Are You Ready on their the Razor's Edge album. This is Are You Ready to Power Up. Man, I hope that's a title on the album, because that sounds like a badass title. I am so, I'm so freaking eager to hear this song and this album. I can't hear it. I, sorry, I can hear it. I can't wait to hear it, is what I meant to say. I'm so tongue-tied from excitement. 
From the moment I opened my eyes before I even got out of my bed this morning, I grabbed my iPhone. It was right next to me on the couch because I don't have an end table at the moment, but that might change soon because I'm always changing this room. Um... As soon as I read that they were officially back together today, and it has been publicly announced, which, well, we already all knew that they were officially back together, but it was publicly announced today, I damn near had a fucking seizure in bed. I was so fucking excited, I couldn't even get out of bed to get dressed properly. I mean, I put my shirt on inside out. So I had to, you know, redo my shirt today. It was like, really? Is this real? Like, are my, are my heroes getting back together for one more blowout? But we don't know. If it's really their last blowout. I mean, it might be. But if it is, it's going to be iconic, as we all know. We, the true ACDC fans, know this in our hearts. That if this is really their last album... Unless they're not ready to call it quits or hang up the school uniform and put the guitars up. Which, I would support them either way. I'm not going to force them in retirement. I'm not going to say I want them to retire. I want to say I want them to do what makes them happy as human beings. Because as a human being myself, I am pretty damn happy right now. They have been a big part of my life for as long as I can remember. I've probably said that countless times, I know, but... I literally can't count how many times on my hands and feet, 500 times... What they have done for me and how they have been there for me. More than my own father has. Or more than my own mother has. I remember buying... Not, well, well, getting my first iPod Touch... Officially, when I was 10 years old, it was clearly my first touchscreen device. And it wasn't actually an iPod, it was an old iPhone that my sister had handed me down. Because she was going to originally sell it, and my mom said, Don't you think your sister would like to have something this nice? And she said, Yes. And uh, I remember going to the store and buying the iTunes and App Store card, or whatever you call it. The App Store card, or whatever it was called at the time. This was during the making of Black Eyes. And stuff like that. I remember going to the store and buying Black Eyes. I bought almost every single one of their songs that they have. And every time I heard of a new song, I found it on YouTube, I liked it, and then I bought it on my iTunes account. Because I had my own. Um, that's why I've heard every single one of their songs, even the Australian edition of High Voltage, which I know it really just consists of Stol Soul Stripper and, like, two other tracks that are different than the regular High Voltage. I told my stepmom I would like that for Christmas. And I said, you might have to buy it online because it's not easy to find in the United States. Regular High Voltage was not easy to find. It took me three years to find it, and when I found it, I grabbed it and growled. I literally grabbed it from the person in front of me and growled, like, because <sighs> I know they were going to reach for it. it. was my last $10 for that month, but it was worth it because it almost completed my CD collection of the bands. I had two or three copies of Rock or Bust, but I gave one to a friend because from one rocker to another, who would I be to deny them the honor of hearing the latest, at the time, the latest ACDC album. And still currently the latest one until Power Up comes out. And I had three copies of Back in Black, but one quit working, and I had stupidly gave one up to my other friend as well. She was just getting into rock music, and she asked me, because I was a mega rocker chick and still am, she said, do you have any suggestions? And I said, I think I have a few up my sleeve. And the few that I had given her were Black Sabbath's Volume 4 and ACDC's Back in Black 
as well as ACDC's Highway to Hell, and she said, thank you so much. I really appreciate this, and she said, I really love this. These albums are really cool. So I introduced her to my two favorite bands, but my most favorite band in general, ACDC. Without a doubt, no hesitation, in my mind, ACDC. Do I have other likes? Yes, but I love ACDC. It depends on my mood. If I want something uplifting that'll get me in a really good mood, I definitely turn to ACDC. If I'm sad, I turn to them. If I want to listen to something that'll put me in a good mood, I listen to Black Sabbath. If I'm sad, I listen to them too. I mean, come on. I like them both. Who says I can't like both? I know a lot of you people are thinking, this was just about ACDC originally. What is wrong with you, chick? Well, the answer is, I'm allowed to have my own different opinions as an individual human being alive on this earth today. I know it's weird the way I worded that, but I don't care. My point is, I'm going to be who I am, and if you don't like me, there's the door. Don't let it hit you on your ass on the way out. And yes, I will be videoing myself going to the store, buying Power Up, or whatever they're actually going to call it, which we all know is going to be Power Up because it's on every hashtag, every photo so far of the band. This year, I can't wait. So, I'm so fucking, mm, I'm so excited. I wish they would at least release the video on YouTube so we can hear it. Or at least invite as many fans as they possibly can, despite this damn COVID-19 bullshit, to an actual live video shoot from YouTube or many other outlets to watch the concert or watch them perform the title track live on our tablets, phones, TVs, Xboxes, whatever. If you agree with me on that, Hit that damn like button, smack the subscribe button, and let me know what you think in the comments. I'm sorry I'm swearing so much, but I am so excited. I don't know what else to say other than I'm so excited. I can't wait for all this to happen. I, I just can't wait. I want to see them so bad with Brian. I saw them with Axl Rose. No disrespect there, but I think Brian Johnson definitely... Well, he's clearly the better fit, duh. He was on how many other albums? And he's... Well, I'm just gonna say he's their original singer right next to Bon Scott. We all know about Dave Evans. But I think that if you put two and two together, really, the perfect mixture of ACDC singers are Brian Johnson and Bon Scott. And for me, you can't say one is better than the other. Because they both are and were very great singers. I'm not saying that Axel did a bad job. I'm just saying that I prefer to hear Brian with ACDC clearly like most of us. And on this festive note, I'm going to be done now because my video is almost 14 minutes long guys and it probably will be when I say my goodbyes I don't care um, if you're new please subscribe if you agree with what I say definitely subscribe because you're gonna want to hear my future you know opinions on the songs and the album here we go it's about to be 14 minutes but whatever I don't care if you've listened to this with me you've got nothing better to do also or you're just a nigger fan like I am um, I, it actually almost brought tears to my eyes when I saw that today. I was like, wait a minute. What? For real? Okay, but anyway, I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, if you're new, please subscribe. If you agree that ACDC are the most iconic band in the whole world, they're the most influential and crucial band in the whole world, Smack the like button, hit subscribe, and hit that bell below because you know there are going to be more videos regarding them and many other videos that I think are worth filming in the future, especially the part of me going into the store buying the CD. You damn sure know I'm getting that on video. 
because that's going to be a historic moment in my life, basically. Because the last time I bought a CD, I'll tell you real quick before I go, was in South Carolina. I bought Rock or Bust at the Walmart in South Carolina. And who knows, I might be back at home in South Carolina about to go buy the new CD to listen to for the first time. I do have a CD player, so I'm going to see. Or I might buy it on iTunes. You might get catch a video of me getting an iTunes card to buy it on iTunes. Clearly I can't show me the part the part of me buying on iTunes because then you'll see my stepmom's email for it and try to guess her password. Anyway, on that festive note, like I said, please subscribe if you love ACDC or if you love well, I have multiple different topics I film. Makeup, anything like that. I'm not going to say anymore. Um, Please subscribe if you're new. Please let me know in the comments if they're on. And I'm sorry for all the swearing, guys. I just was really excited to be doing this video. And there will be more videos on ACDC and many other topics that I think are worth filming. Alright, guys. It is now 3.37 p.m. Have a great day if you're new. Like I asked you five times now, please subscribe. Hit the bell button. Have a great day. Bye.